Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys Welcome back again to my channel It's your girl Amina And this channel is called Aminul Aminul Well, like I said I'm Amina, I live in Arab country And I'm a Ugandan YouTuber And I'm so happy guys Thank you so much for supporting me Anytime I go back through the videos And I see how they are performing The new ones I upload The likes Like, seriously? I really do appreciate you guys so today I'm back with another video and let's just have a talk yeah so this time around this video um let me say it's mostly for guys yeah guys I got you this time because I have many friends who complain like I mean I always do things for ladies how about us I'm here for you guys <laughs> so today what I want to talk about with you guys is how to deal with the rejection as in um, when you approach a lady and uh, she's like I'm not interested <laughs> she may not tell you direct but you realize that she's not interested sometimes you feel hurt you like um, yeah you know sometimes people take rejection into personal whereby it's not always that when you approach a lady you have to get an answer you're looking for as in let me think about it okay let's give it a try sometimes you may approach someone when they're already in a relationship so it means it's a no as in a no in capital letters and it's bold so if you are a guy there you've been through that situation how did you handle that um, I want to give you some tips on how to handle rejection you'll be like I mean no one has ever rejected you <laughs> how come you can do this like you tell us this I'm a human as in I'm a human and by the way we deal with the rejection not only in relationship but maybe in business and some other stuff so first thing you need to understand that they have rejected you as in you sit yourself down and you're like she said no and she meant the word as in she said no it's a no when a lady said no maybe she may give you a reason she may give you reasons or she may say no i'm not interested and you bring up this uh, motivation speaker speech as in i won't give up as in i won't give up <laughs> one day will be mine seriously sometimes you just waste your time if someone say no they have reasons why what do you prefer for someone to be like okay let me give you a chance let's give it a try when deep down that person knows that it's not gonna work what do you prefer to be straightforward as in no or oh, let's uh, give it a try when she knows that she's wasting your time if you like if it's me I prefer no so when they say no when they reject you First of all, put it in your mind that it happens, as in it happens. As in life goes on, as in if uh, something doesn't work, you move to the next person. There are so many girls out there who are like, I wish Mr. Right come, even though there is no Mr. Right, but when you have a man in your life whom you like, the, that man you love that is your mr right because we are humans we are not perfect so accept the fact that the lady said no and move on secondly don't take it personal you're like why did she say no why me as in this is a life and life is not fair most things they don't work in our favor but it doesn't mean that we are going to kill ourselves no yeah 
life is not balancing you know <laughs> you know this says in life doesn't balance that's the fact life doesn't balance and when a lady say no to you <laughs> as in don't be like the world has come to an end there are so many good things waiting for you maybe even god saved you from something because not all things we see glittering like they are gold no so you may see her she has that smelling one the calves the what when she's not the right person you think she is and um so the next thing you should know is um when someone say no to you or when you get rejected you can talk to someone who is close to you because sometimes it's not like let me try her let me see how things go sometimes you're deeply deeply in love like you've been deeply in love for so long then you gather all the courage and boom they burst your bubble so you may have that close friend maybe a relative when you talk to someone that's someone who knows you very well that's someone who knows how to comfort you who knows uh, like those words you need to hear to feel better talk to that person and and give yourself time to heal don't be like i don't say that uh, be there um azini obiringa kungubaga don't grieve no one has died you know so give yourself time to feel better as in to heal but to be ranga gama go feel family member or anything things happen as in life happen so give yourself time to heal talk to someone that someone you know who comforts you nga ine bigambo like there is we have those people in our lives nga even if you're going through something hard when you talk to that person you feel better right so talk to that person they will comfort you you will get better i believe and i know because you know in life things don't go the way we want yeah if it does alhamdulillah if it doesn't it's cool like live your life and um as in get your mind off the topic don't be at work and you're like that lady she rejected me she said this to me how could she try something new get something to distract yourself so that um like you set your mind off from that topic like i said before life happens life is not fair life is not balancing so find a way to set your mind off from that experience and the one thing i know for sure time heals all wounds like time is the best cure just you know things happened you have a whole life ahead of you and move on yeah that's the right way to go and i believe if you love yourself uh, as in if you put yourself first everything is possible and putting yourself first doesn't mean to be selfish some people are selfish they are like i love my life i put myself first but you overdo it as in you become selfish so i hope uh, those few tips can help you to learn from your experience they can help you to know that in life things are not always on our side and sometimes it's not our loss and sometimes it's for our own good and sometimes we just win a jackpot by that because you may look um, when some year goes by and you're like oh my god i was going to go through that 